Welcome back to 101 Sports. I'm now joined by one of our better looking MLB experts on the show. I mean, just look at him. Man's gorgeous. <laughs> Ryan Ballack. So, Ryan, we're going to dissect the MLB World Series. My first question for you, why were the Giants able to win? What was the key to that series? Well, I mentioned it last week on the MLB block that the, in order for the Giants to win the series, it was going to have to be about their pitching. Yep. And that is exactly what the Giants did. Berzita started it off great. He then gave it to Madison Bumgarner, who was awesome. Then the Vogel song, then the Matt Cain. They were spectacular all series long. The Tigers with those huge bats and Prince Fielder, the Triple Crown winner, Miguel Cabrera, Delman Young was hot. Six runs the entire series, and the bullpen was spectacular. Sergio Romo coming in the ninth was lights out all postseason long. Without Sergio Romo, the Giants could, may not have won this World Series. No, I certainly agree with you. It's pitching, pitching, pitching come World Series time, and they did a great job of that. Now. The Giants have won two of the last three World Series. Can they turn this into a dynasty? Look, the Giants' two World Series wins have both been very impressive. They were the underdogs in both of them, if you remember, back in 2010 with the Texas Rangers and now with the Detroit Tigers. Yeah. Two huge hitting lineups. And it was all about the pitching both times. But unfortunately for the Giants, I do not see this becoming a dynasty. Barry Zito, this is his first over 500 uh, year in like seven years. That's a bad signing. Uh, Ryan Vogelson is 35. Tim Linscombe is still very questionable. Madison Bumgarner, this is really only his first good year. So they're going to have to keep up the pitching and the hitting, eh. But they're going to be a good team for now, especially with the Dodgers. Yeah. The Dodgers will be good now that they have that huge, after that huge trade. I mean, cer certainly an old team, and it's hard to be a dynasty. Exactly. But moving away from the Giants, looking more at the entire MLB season, it was a great one. Was what great was your season. best moment? Look, there were a lot of awesome moments with uh, Josh Hamilton's four home run, eight RBI performance yep. at the beginning of the year, and Matt Cain's perfect game. But for me personally, I might be a little biased, but it was Johan Santana's no-hitter. As a Mets fan, the Mets have waited, oh boy, the Mets the franchise, horrible, 8,020 games without a no-hitter. Watching the game, me and my dad watching it together. That's special. Just celebrating together after that last strikeout. 134 pitch effort from Johan Santana after a huge mistake of a contract, most people think. Awesome moment for New York. Awesome moment for Mets fans everywhere. Awesome moment for baseball. I, I agree with you. And certainly he had no hits in that game. We are no errors in this block, my man. All right. Nice work. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have for this World Series dissection. But when one-on-one -on -one returns, Joe will be joined by our NBA experts to give you a sneak peek into the upcoming season. Stay tuned.